Yo, what's up guys, your boy Chris here of 1980-something Co. Welcome to another one of my unboxing, unpackaging little videos that I always do. I'm excited for this one because I've been so busy with a bunch of of, of uh, 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 I've been so busy with a bunch of other things that I've been doing that I haven't really been tending to the vintage and the website. It makes me very sad because I love vintage. But I got so many other things going on right now that uh, are helping other people out and are just way bigger than uh, me making money off t-shirts and uh, I feel really good about it. So the, one of those things being virtual flea, every weekend I go live on my Instagram, let other people use my platform to sell their vintage. It's a big fun thing that I love to do. I really do have the greatest job in the world because I've been uh, relying on that mostly lately to support me and my family. It's a blessing. If you haven't checked it out yet, go check it out. Virtual Flea. It's uh, an, a live auction event that I do for uh, different people, everyone in the community who wants to participate. Uh, I got a bunch of things going. Oh, the, these two, these mugs just dropped on my website. I don't know if they'll still be available on the website when you see this, but if they are, go buy one. Uh, everybody always asks me for these mugs when I, uh, you know, when I'm sipping out of this, sipping my coffee during virtual flea. So I made a limited amount of them. They're about a 15 ounce mug and they're really cool, man. It's just a cool way to represent, support your boy as, uh, you know, he does whatever he does. I would really appreciate it. And I'm only going to do this drop one time because I mean, it's just, it's mugs. So it's kind of crazy that I'm just selling mugs. I never thought I'd be selling mugs, but people like them when I drink out of my mug on the weekends and they ask me for a mug. So I did a very limited drop and I'll never do it again because it's mugs. Anyway, uh, let's get into the unboxing part of the video, right? That's what this whole thing's about. Y'all ready for this? First thing, here we go. Boom, package, don't look at the address. Oh shit, address, all right, never mind. This is from Droopy. 23 my boy Derek Powell now if there's one thing that I know about my boy Droopy it's that he's got the heat so here we go uh, take it out of the condom t-shirt condoms and uh, nicely folded is uh, this shirt right here I, uh, you know when he auctioned it off on the I got this for a really good price on auction uh, and when he auctioned it off I think he wanted much more for it because I mean I, I think this shirt deserves way more but I just think uh, people didn't know who uh, Elizabeth Taylor is and that's why I got it for such a good price. But when he showed me this shirt, cause I have a group chat for all my vendors on Virtual Flea before, you know, the, the days leading up to it where we could share tips, ask questions, um, just discuss, you know, how to set up our, set up a, a, a set. Um, he showed this in there and I wanted it so bad. And I was like, dude, I don't know if I'll be able to get it cause it's probably gonna get ran up, but it didn't. I was able to get my hands on it. I'm super thankful for that. So thank you, Droopy, big supporter of the Virtual Flea. Like I'm talking about like since day one. Droopy, man. What a G. Taking this one out of the condom. We're going raw dog for this next one. Yes, 2XL. Anything Elvira. Uh, super expensive. And if it's not, it should be. And I will swoop in to take it. Size 2XL. But just a great piece. Elvira. Such a great piece. Uh, 2XL on that AAA tag. One of my new favorite tags from the 2000s. There you go. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? There you go. All right, so this was, oh, I know what this was. This is from uh, my boy, 24-7 uh, Thrift, and I bought, he posted this on his story, and I had to swoop it up real quick. Is it single? No, it's double. Bring it on, Kirsten Dunst, that early 2000s cheerleading movie uh, that I thought was so lame when I was in high school, but now to see the t-shirts, uh, I mean, it's just such a, it was such like a movie that all the girls wanted to watch or that did watch when I was in high school. And I'm like, eh, I don't like cheerleader movies. But now I look back and, uh, you know, this is just, it was just one of those cultural, cultural influences, those big cultural movies. So taking me back, bring it on. May the best moves win. <laughs> That's so sick. And he threw this in there. I already have these shorts, but he gave me another pair of these Jordan shorts. So uh, I don't know, I guess I'll hold on to those for summer. This one's already open. Uh, I had to open these packages because I had bought something for a friend and they were like, uh, when are you gonna give me what you bought me? And I was like, well, you know, I have to wait to open all my packages until I do my own packaging video. And then he was like, well, you know, when are you gonna do that? And I've just been so busy, like I said at the beginning of the video, 
that uh, I just started opening them to get. I was like, let me just get him his thing and I'll open my packages later. Uh, I ended up finding it. it took a, I had to open up a few packages in the process though. So uh, here's another tea. This is from Trent. What's up, Trent? Giant tag, Lenny Kravitz. So sick, single. Lenny Kravitz, look at the colors on that Universal Love Tour. Such a good tee and graphic, man. Been wanting a Lenny shirt for a minute. I've had a couple, but never kept any. Hopefully I'll keep that one. That one looks like it's right up my alley. Uh, up next, this one is from Jacob. I found another shirt that's on this uh, Anvil Blue Bar. It is uh, Shaun of the Dead. Look at that. Would you just look at that? I love the border, how it has all the hands reaching in. Oh man, I don't think I'm gonna sell this one either. That's good. All right, there we go, open another one. So I bought this shirt, I thought this was pretty cool. It's like the, the Disney World castle, made out of like candy and stuff. I don't even know why I bought this shirt. I, was I gonna wear it there? I don't know, but it's double-sided. I still, I just think this is a really good graphic. So I had to cop that, because that's not my size, that's what it was, I just like the graphic. All right, here we go. So this is a box. Let's open up the box and see what's in here. Okay, first thing, a nice little Bart Simpson. Would you look at that? <laughs> wow, a cute little Barty. <laughs> um, size XL, ooh, gotta love that. Nice condition, look at that, that thing's cute. Bart Simpson. I'm proud of it, man. Underachiever and proud of it, man. Really good condition on this, wow. Uh, dated 89, gotta love these Barts. Oof, may keep that. I just wanna keep everything nowadays, uh, it's hard. 2XL, here we go. Uh, iMac shirt, classic hit on that one. Think different on the back, really sick. What else do we got in here? There's a fire box. Grave digger. Look at that, it's on the all sport tag, Woohoo! Look at that, Grave Digger on the front, on the back, an insane Grave Digger graphic. Sheesh! Oh man, this is fire, and then my favorite part is just the green flames going down the sleeves, look at that. Wow, down both sleeves, ah, so hard not to keep everything. People ask me, Chris, how do you not keep everything? I mean, I just, I keep everything. <laughs> Uh, up next, we got this single dingle anvil tag XL smashing pumpkins. Look at that. Whew. Would you look at that? Holy yes. Look at that. Great graphic. I'm going to have to go back and watch my Stash Raiders episode that I did with Kobe to find out what you, well, this is from 94. It says right there under license to giant. If you could read that. Uh, really cool, man. Hyped on that. Up next. XL Delta Pro Way tag. I don't know what this is yet. Let's see what it is. Boom, Stone Cold can. Anything Stone Cold right now. Wrestling tees I think are gonna be the next to blow and I just love them all. Even though I don't even watch any, I've never watched any wrestling, but uh, all the different characters and personalities that came out of it. Like you just got so many cool people that you would wear on a shirt even though you've never watched wrestling. I know I would, I, I'll, I'll rock the shit out of a Stone Cold shirt. Uh, Speedy Gonzalez. Cartoon tees popping off, another one. Single dingle on this one. Uh, and this is a character that is just dope, Speedy Gonzalez. Yeah, sprinkle some respect on Speedy Gonzalez. He used to run really quick. He had speed, boy had jukes. Get rid of that box. And the last but not least is the XL on that Disneyland Resort tag. What is that, like a 2000s tag? Y'all let me know. And we got the Space Mountain. Wow, the condition on this one is crazy good. Oh my lord. I think I might wear this one at Disney World. I gotta find a Disney shirt. I'm still, I mean, I'm still kind of on the fence. Like, do I wanna wear a Disney shirt to Disney World when I go after a virtual flea? Or do I wanna wear another shirt that's not, like, I, I feel like these are my choices. Either wear a Disney shirt and celebrate Disney, or wear something crazy, like a horror tee with like some blood on it and all, all that stuff. 
to Disney World. Like, which one would you rather do? I'd, I'd, I'd probably feel like a douche if I was wearing like a bloody shirt. I'm waiting in line, some kids just looking at me and there's just like, it's like the House of a Thousand Corpses shirt. It just says everybody dies on it. And some kids just waiting in line next to us, just looking. And I'm just there with my family. It's like, dude, you're 34 years old. You got a family, calm down. Like, why you gotta wear everybody dies shit at Disney World? Like, couldn't you have made that statement somewhere else? You had to do it right here with just a bunch of kids and family. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go with the Disney shirt. That's, I think I just made my mind up right on the camera. But thank you guys for helping me through that. Uh, Space Mountain, Whew, look at the graphic on that. And then on the back it says T minus three, your hands start sweating. T minus two, your heart begins to pound. T minus one, your mouth goes dry. T minus zero, too late. Uh, <laughs> that's tight. All right, here we go. Uh, up next we got Walt's wardrobe. Walt's Vintage Wardrobe, the show must go on. Even when you do whack jokes, your show must go on. Uh, but anyway, uh, we got this one for Wifey, Beauty and the Beast crew neck. Look at that, that's a solid graphic on that. Really good condition on this. And it is on a large Disney character fashions tag, which I've been told is from the 80s up to about 93. Um, so really good, good one on that one. Probably one of the last movies to be on that tag. Uh, up next. Taylor, don't say his full name, cut his full name off. Body Double Vintage. From Body Double Vintage, I got this one. It says, uh, The Art of Connection US Robotics. And this is a straight banger. Not, uh, as you would expect from Body Double Vintage on that Power Pro Juanita. Single dingle all around, straight to the personal type shit. You got a Mona Lisa. Wow, that's so fire. I've been wanting a Mona Lisa. Uh, this one's for US Robotics, so she's got a bunch of gadgets in her hands. But I mean, dude, how sick is that? Like, Mona Lisa. Chill! Needed that, G. What do we got here up next? This one's from Slater Thrifts. Another one that I got in anticipation uh, for Disney World. We got some stickers. We got some stickers. Uh, so I think it's going to be between Space Mountain and this one. This is a pretty unique one. Uh, there we go. This is probably not going to fit me. This is like a large. It's missing the size tag, but I could tell just from holding it, it's a large. But look at that, Walt Disney World. And this is how, this is for the gardening that they do at the park. So they'll cut the bushes into the characters. And that's what this shirt is. It's kind of like an off-white, creamy color. Such a good tee to wear. So fresh. I'm gonna try it on. I don't think it's gonna fit, but if it doesn't, it's gonna go up on the website. So somebody else will get blessed with it. Great piece. Uh, here we go. This is something that I had previously opened. Let's see what this is about. This is from, oh, there's a note in here. Saved by the vintage. Thanks for the content, the knowledge, the inspiration. We appreciate you, Chris. Awesome, no sweat. Thank you for watching and for uh, supporting. I really do appreciate that. Razor. Uh, okay, so we got a Marlboro bag. Brand new Marlboro bag. Let's open that up. This is cool. We got a little Boris pin. That's dope. Uh, Saved by the Bell, the college years cards. That's awesome. Marlboro sports bag. What could this be? Hmm. In the box still. I almost don't even want to open this thing. Let's, let's open it though, see what's good in here. Oh, it's like a little sports bag. This is awesome, dude. Thank you very much for this saved by the vintage. Little sports Marlboro bag dead stock. Wow, that's cool. That's really cool. That's awesome. All right, what else we got in here? Boom, secret location vintage. Size large on the Stanley DeSantis. We have a Betty Boop shirt and she's doing the Boop Arena. So it's the Macarena. So the Macarena in the 90s was this crazy, uh, not crazy, but this weird dance that people everywhere just got, like it was one of those, um, it just went viral, the dance, without any internet, it just went viral. Everyone was doing it. And these are the steps to do it. And this is Betty Boop doing the steps to the Macarena. It's called Do the Boop Arena. Dude, that's so good. 
single stitch. That is fire. Wow, never seen that one. So many boot parodies out there. It's like, you just never, you, you can never see them. You, you haven't seen them all. That's what I love about boots. All right, this one here. Ah. Is from my boy Vintage Jesus Tees, who actually I'm wearing this shirt from him right now. Devil's Enemy. And on the back, you'll see it says, uh, it's like the public enemy sign, but it's like the devil on the crosshairs, and it's got a scripture around the graphic. This, the quality on this shirt is amazing. If they're still available, you should go buy this shirt. This shirt is crazy good. Anyway, he was on the virtual flea a couple weeks ago, and I bought a shirt from him on auction. And uh, man, he also sent me um, one of the, his shirts. So he said he had like one of the premium shirts. Okay, so he had these that were not as good as this one. This one was kind of like, I'm not sure what this was, like a test that they were doing on the tees. But he had these, and then he also sent me the final print of these, like the quality ones. Insane, I could tell, it's a different tag on this one. But this one that I got that's gonna be dropped on the 9th. As of the 9th, they'll be released. You should go get it, because uh, the shirt is really amazing quality. So now I have two. Much love to you. Vintage Jesus tees. And uh, on this is the shirt that I bought. And there's a letter on here on the front, so let's read that real quick. Uh, hey Chris, I just wanted to thank you again for the opportunity of being on the virtual flea. It was such a cool opportunity to be able to connect with my followers and a bunch of new people. Just the feedback from people from the set and from the announcement of the book and page in general. I was on a virtual flea high uh, for the next few days. I just want to thank you by sending you my newest tea, Devil's Enemy. Also, keep a lookout for the deluxe edition that will be coming out soon. More heavyweight blank bolder front graphic with my own tags and stickers thanks again god bless you and your family javier vintage jesus tees uh there's also another st uh, sticker right here that i'm sure it comes with every purchase it says thank you for your support a passionate dedication to jesus our goal is to find and curate best vintage jesus tees on the planet in hopes that in sharing these tees the heart of god will be reflected to the world these are rare original collectible vintage jesus tees each hand selected to wear your faith with boldness 10 percent off all pro of all profit goes back to the kingdom of God. So uh, he just curates all Jesus things. Um, really cool, really, really dope pieces um, that you should definitely check out. You, I, I mean, you gotta sprinkle some respect on that man just for collecting Jesus tees. And this is one of them right here. So beautiful fade on this, born to die, great piece. It's like a Harley 3D emblem rip. Here you go. That thing's so sick, worship the best or die like the rest. <laughs> uh, single dingle on one of my favorite tags, Delta. Uh, it's a size large, but it's tagged large, but I mean, the, the measurements he gave on his set were definitely XL. So I'm sure this will fit me. And I'm just looking at it and it definitely looks like it's gonna fit, but amazing fade on this one I had to have. And if it doesn't, pass it right back on to someone who's deserving of it. I'll put it up on the website. Next one, NA Vintage. Oh, I think I know what this is. All right, so this man, oh, he threw in the little Fantasia tape. That's dope. All right, so this guy was on the open live that I did uh, for the 30th week of Virtual Flea in celebration. I just went open live every day. Uh, this guy came on with his buddy. Uh, the dude that came on auctioned off this Crypt Keeper shirt that I was able to get off of auction. Really dope on the cronies tag, size XL, made in USA, and this is from the animated series. So it's Tales from the Crypt Keeper. Uh, let me dig you up a scary tale. Such a good graphic. Um, single all around, XL. Fire piece. But his buddy off to the side was wearing this crazy tee that had his artwork on it. It had a nice fade to it. I was like, yo, what is that? And when he showed it, I was like, yo, I gotta have that. So I bought it right off of his back. Uh, this is all I saw his buddy wearing in the corner. And I was like, yo, look at that fade. Look at that graphic. What is that? And it turns out, it's a Paul McCartney, The New World Tour, amazing. And then this is the back, biker like an icon. Crazy T, just a really good shirt. And I was like, yo, I need that shirt. Let me get that. So bought it off of his back right there on the live. Shout out NA Vintage. Up next, Lucky Devil Clothing. Lucky Devil Clothing, from him I got 
I love sable tees. Told you, I'm, I'm on. I'm on these wrestling tees. Look at this one. Wow, with the signature on the bottom. Ah, oh, such a good tee. Jesus, it's on the Marina XL. Oh, I'm coming with it on this video, bruh. Got the bangers on this one, man. This one is from. I'm gonna. I'm like on fire right now, so I just want to keep going through these. I haven't opened. This is the longest I've gone with just having these sitting. Um, without opening them, so I'm excited to see what's in these. All right, here we go. Another one. This one's from Royal Vintage. What's up, Gabriel? What's up, Gabriel? He's from Australia, guys. He was a vendor on the Virtual Fleet, and he won MVP, so he was an event, a vendor twice. Uh, he's sending me Toxic High School cards. That's cool. He sends a note. Uh, Thanks for the purchase, Chris. Love what you do, man. Keep me posted about a vendor spot. Would love to be involved. So I bought this from him uh, during another flea that he was doing. Uh, that's him, Royal Vintage. And um, once I bought this from him, he just inquired about Virtual Flea. And I was like, yo, man, you know, honestly, I got this shirt from you for a steal. So, yeah, I would definitely love to extend you uh, the opportunity to have a, a vendor spot on a Virtual Flea. <laughs> These cards that he sent me. All right. Okay. This is my man right here. There's like boobies on these cards. Uh, all right, so this is what I got for a really good price. XL, giant tag. Look at the color on this one. You don't see many colors like this. 1995 and the music. It's got Kurt on the front strumming his guitar. Double stitched, really good condition. Oh my God, nice thick graphic on this. No wear to the shirt, Jesus. Uh, 1998, end of the music. So this is dated 98, there. Under license to end of the music with the Kurt Cobain head on the back. Wow, this is an amazing shirt. You just don't see them in this color. This is beautiful, man. Beautiful, Kurt on the front. Um, that one is such a good XL. I don't even think it's gonna fit me. It might be a little too big on me, so I'm gonna uh, try it out, and then if it doesn't fit, it'll be coming to you guys very soon. Up next, John Supply. And from John Supply, we got something for the kiddo. Such a cool graphic for the kiddo. It's uh, Simba and Scar going at it, fading up. If that was a, a, a graphic for an adult, that would be a crazy tee right there. That would definitely command a high price. Thank you, John Supply. Up next recycled laundry and uh this is a really good album the killers reminds me a lot of, of when uh i was out of high school and hanging out with friends going clubbing and stuff killers hot fuss album really good and uh really great fade on this shirt you don't see much killers merch out there especially og merch so had to pick that up from recycled laundry up next this is from my boy cam gilly And Cam is the man he sent over, uh, oh, okay, this is merch from his store, Air Portland. So this is an Air Video XL. Damn, that's sick. Love that logo rip. And then I bought from him, uh, I'm a big Superman, Batman fan right now. So this is an all over print, single stitch, and it's just uh, Spidey busting out of his button up, going from, I'm sorry, Spidey, Superman, bwomp, bwomp, bwomp. Uh, busting out of his work attire, going into Superman mode, single dingle all around on that XL Delta tag. Such a banger. Had to swoop that up immediately. What else do we got? This one is from Secondhand Scoops. XL, nicely worn in, Pink Floyd. Ah, my Meggies. Look at the colors on that. This thing is beautiful. Wowza. Definitely for your boy there. Up next, secondhand scoops. Uh, you know what's funny for that one is that he was like, I won't sell this unless Chris does a 32 bar. So I did, I wrapped a 32 bar freestyle and then uh, he put it up for, for auction and I ended up buying it. So I paid up and kicked the flow for that shirt and made an ass of myself. <laughs> uh, this is from, thank you for thrifting. This is from ThriftCon. Yo, dude, congrats on all the recent success. Love to see you win. Enjoy one of our new tees on the house printed on DS90s. 
Screen Stars Blanks, ThriftCon. Wow, this is dope. Uh, so, and this is the shirt. It's printed on a blank, vintage blank. We have seen the enemy and he is us. Wow, such a great tee. Man, this is a dope graphic too. And pretty much the, the from what I understand what they mean by that we've seen the enemy and he is us, it talks about like we kind of have, we have the power to make a change in the world through vintage. And they, they talk a lot about like, you know, uh, how wearing vintage is good for the environment. And so, yeah, let's start making choices so that we're not our own enemy kind of thing. <laughs> but I love the message that they're pushing and um, love the tea. Thank you very much, ThriftCon. I've been meaning to reach out. Uh, you know, I have my own vintage event that we're doing, uh, Virtual Flea, and I've just been caught up in all the things that have been going on, Virtual Flea, Virtual Flea, the auction website, just and other things that I haven't even told you guys about that I'm working on even behind those scenes that uh, I've just been caught up and those ThriftCon dudes, dope dudes, I've been meaning to reach out so we could collab on something for this event, but like I said, things have just moving, been moving so fast, but by the time you guys see this video, I'll have reached out and said, what's up? <laughs> for real though, much love to you guys. Uh, all right, up next, uh, this is uh, from Vexed Vintage. Ooh, this is a nice fat stack. From Vexed, I got, oh, it's got some stickers, you know I love my stickers. M and M T fire, such a good graphic. One of my favorite graphics of M. And then on the back, you got the same thing. This is a bootleg, no tag, nicely faded, nicely worn in. Look at the wear on that graphic right there. Man, that's fire, bro. Uh, and I got this shirt also. Oh, this is good. It's got the eight ball on the front, nice fade. Smile now, cry later. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Baby. All right, this one is from Griffin Vintage. And from Griffin, I got this Joyride tee. Boom. Joyride Blockbuster hit on the front. Paul Walker, RIP. Um, and then these actors on the back. Steve Zahn. Oh man, what's her name? I know it. I'm so close to knowing it. Ugh, ah! All good. Uh, up next, Jordan. This is from Jordan. Okay, okay. Cool packaging. All right, all right. Look at that. Got the pinhead on the front. Oh, this is a real pin. That's awesome. I'm saving that for sure. That's a sick ass pin head. Pin. Ooh. Twister. There you go. Pyramid tag. XL. Sleeper tag. And we got this amazing condition Twister shirt. Wow. Look at the graphic on that one. <whistles> just take a second to just drink that in uh single all around guys that is what we in the industry call a banger yes <laughs> a banger up next this is from christian what's up christian oh this is from uh dawes vintage <whistles> look at that pocky boy nice little pock damn that's sick bro uh, it's on the Marina XL. There you go. Read them and weep. And just a solid ass pock, bro. Whew. All right, man. And that's going to be it for my unboxing, huh, unpackaging video. Who would have thought opening up a bunch of shirts would have been so tiring? But it is. Anyway, I'm going to go post up all these stickers that I got. Much love to everybody who sends me stickers. Anybody who watches these videos, uh, check out all the links in my description to see all the things that I'm up to. Got a lot more things coming too, so stay tuned for that. Thank you. Peace. Peace, 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 peace.